So here we have the Ford Focus on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. And above that, the total miles for the car, which is 6,898. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer being displayed. You can also have various bits of individual trip computer and fuel economy information, or these four bits of info all displayed simultaneously. And then we are back round to the digital readout again. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using to do that are just here, beneath which we have cruise control and speed limiter. Over on the right hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. Over in the center is where you'll pair up the phone before you can use those phone controls. So just hit pair phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And then follow the instructions on screen from there. When it comes to audio in this car, uh, we've got a few ways in which we can listen to our music. Uh, AM, FM and DAB radio, a CD player, Bluetooth audio. This car also has two separate USB inputs. So if you plug devices into those, they will appear up here as further options for you. And I'm sure you will have noticed on that home screen, we also have satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows how this works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel. Working our way down, we have the CD player uh, and the main volume for the stereo. We then have air conditioning below that. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, direction of the air, and then the air conditioning is off or on uh, when that light shows there. We have a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen over on the left-hand side just here. One of the two USB inputs I mentioned, a six-speed manual gearbox, the 12-volt charging socket, so you can charge uh, your phone, for example. And this button turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system's now off. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.